Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you are sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2018 Alphonse Melo La Moussière. It is a Sancerre Blanc as opposed to a Sancerre Rouge. Sancerre Rouge would be Pinot Noir, but this right here is 100% organic, biodynamic Sauvignon Blanc, hand harvested. One thing I really like about this is that the organic biodynamic isn't found anywhere on the front or back label because they are living it. They're not flaunting it. I love it. And the quality comes across in the wine itself. So um, the vine age averages 55 years on this estate. This is considered the estate's flagship wine. And we're sipping it right now. How cool is that? Beautiful light color. Look at that light, very light gold color. Beautiful. So it's aged uh, between 10 and 13 months and bottled depending on the lunar cycle which is true to biodynamic winemaking ethics. I like that. I'm very much governed by the lunar cycle personally, so it's interesting that winemakers are following that as well. So, on the nose, I get, I get white peach. I get um, wet stones. And I get kind of like a fennel-like quality and little white flowers, little white blossoms. Like Narcissus or something. Not quite Jasmine, well maybe Jasmine, but little white blossoms. But it's not cloying, it's subtle. I'm, I'm having to really think about what's going on in the glass, which I like. I, I like things that aren't terribly obvious. Oh, it's lovely, okay, so on the palette. Actually medium body and lovely a complex wine which always throws me for a curve because again not easy to describe it's like a crisp white peach a very subtle drizzle of honey it is not sweet it is a definitely a dry wine but there's that little drizzle of honey quality to it. Beautiful minerality. Little hits of, of um, like biting into a fresh piece of like shaved fennel. Uh, crisp. Um, nice lingering finish. Um, this is a serious Sancerre. This is a wine to sip and consider. Okay, again, a little bit of white flowers in the finish. Like a narcissus, uh, um, it, it's just, it's nice. It's very subtle, um, but it's it's definitely there. Just whispers. Mm. Crisp, and it has a not only a mineral edge, but a slightly um, pithy edge, like a pith of a um, pith of a. Of a, of a Pomelo, maybe? That, that subtle bitterness, a good bitterness, a complex bitterness, an interesting bitterness. Very, very subtle. Again, these are all very subtle flavors, which again makes it difficult to describe. Mm. So when I first opened this bottle, I had it with nothing. And it was good. And it was a serious wine. It's, 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 it's a sancerre for the adults in the room to sit down and consider. But when I had it with food, when I had it with dinner, that's when it really came to life. I think that this wine really benefits from food, whether it's, you know, cheese and charcuterie. I had it with um, a soup that had linguisa and white beans and greens in it. And then I had a salad that had a, a homemade blue cheese dressing and it was cool. It went with the cool, crisp, and cheesy, but it also went with the spicy, warm, and meaty. Um, 
this is a very food-friendly wine, uh, and I really would consider having it with food um, because it is, it is a serious wine. It is a sit-down-and-pay-attention wine, which is hard to do because we all have short attention spans and busy schedules, but sit down, take a moment, and enjoy. This is the Sancerre for you. Mm. It's in the $30 range, 12.5% alcohol. Again, that is 2018 Alphonse Melo, La Moussière, Sancerre Blanc, which I will say uh, previous vintages have been very highly rated by the all the common everyday wine critics that everybody knows uh, that I don't mention. Um, and I suspect this will be highly rated as well. And to that I say Santé and Carpe Uvum.